Ukraine is in civil war. Russia is supporting the rebels with arms and troops. Some say that the United States government should send arms and troops to support the Ukrainian government against the Russian-backed rebels. Well, I say no. This fight is an old one between states and people of differing ethnicities and languages. It's collectivist and nationalist in nature. Neither side is fighting for the rights of individuals. The Ukrainian government wants to align with the West, and the rebels want to align with Russia. This is an old-style battle left over from the Cold War, and it has little to do with the advancement of individual liberty. Sure, a Western-aligned Ukraine will prob probably be a little freer and get more cool gadgets and money and stuff, whereas a Russian-aligned Ukraine will suffer under the thumb of Mother Russia and Father Putin a little more. But in the end, this is like Hitler and Stalin dividing Poland. How can you support either of the aggressors? This time, it's Ukraine's turn to be divided. Ukraine, in fact, is a fiction and deserves to be divided, just like most every other country on Earth. Governments, even Texas-sized ones like Ukraine's, are empires in their own fashion. Power needs to devolve to individuals and voluntary local associations so that people can enjoy maximum freedom and flexibility in structuring their relationships. But you say Ukrainians are suffering and need help. I agree. So send it. Send your own help directly. Go over there and fight with the Ukrainians if you believe in what they are doing. Send the money to buy guns. Do whatever you think best. Some Muslims do that to support what they see as just wars in places like Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan. People from all over the world fought in the Spanish Civil War, including the famed Abraham Lincoln Brigade of Americans. But don't be so falsely magnanimous as to call on federal U.S. thugs to expro expropriate money from me and a hundred million other people to finance your particular cause, no matter your reasoning or intentions. That's aggression. It's my money, and when I refuse to pay up, it's my life on the line and my butt sitting in a cage, if I make it that far. Not yours. Ask me a question, subscribe, and support the show at morelibertynow.com slash raw. I'm George Donnelly. Liberty is your birthright. Live it and defend it.